Assalamu alaikum, hello and welcome to another episode of It's All Relative. Thank you so much for joining us once again. Did you know that almost 500 million people around the world today live with diabetes? I'm sure that most of us, if not all of us, uh, know somebody who is diabetic. Having said that, I'm extremely honored and grateful to have with us Sister Anar Alidina, who is a registered dietitian and certified diabetes educator with us today. And we're going to talk about what exactly is diabetes, what are the different types of diabetes, and what are the potential warning signs for diabetes. In addition, we're going to talk about our diets. What could we be eating on a daily basis that's causing us to move closer and closer to diabetes? And given that the new year is only a couple of days away, we're going to talk about how to balance our meal plans or our meals um, towards a more healthier version of ourselves. Sister Onar, thank you so much uh, for being with us today. I'm really looking forward to this chat. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. Excellent. So in order to, to start off today's, uh, today's episode, tell us a little bit about what is diabetes and maybe the different types of diabetes that we have and some of those warning signs that we should look out for. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so first of all, diabetes is a condition when there's too much sugar in your blood, okay? So there is a hormone in our body that regulates how much sugar our body has, and it's called insulin. Mm -hmm. So insulin is a hormone, and it's produced in the pancreas. So it's an organ that produces the, um, the insulin. So insulin has a very important role. So whenever our body has sugar in it from the food that we eat, um, when the carbohydrates break down, the insulin kind of acts like a key or a chaperone. It picks up all those sugar molecules and delivers it into the cell of our bodies so that we have energy and we can just function, okay? So when there's not enough insulin, um, we end up with high blood sugars. Okay, so insulin is very important here. Now, now we kind of have a general idea of what diabetes is. There are different types of diabetes. Mm -hmm. So type one um, is a form of diabetes, which is actually an autoimmune disorder. So in this case, people with type one, they're usually diagnosed at, at an early age, and the only form of therapy is insulin. So in these people, in these individuals, there's absolutely no insulin production, okay? Mm -hmm. So they only need insulin. So that's type one. Is so that the one where they inject? Exactly. Okay, got it. Now type two also can, you can have insulin as well. Um, but type two is generally um, found in people who are older. Nowadays, you know, with you know, the rise of childhood obesity, we are seeing children develop type two diabetes, but it's a progressive chronic disease, okay? So there are risk factors that lead up to um, having type two diabetes. And in this condition, you do have insulin, but you just don't have enough. Okay, right. so we don't have enough insulin to take all that sugar and deliver it into our cells. So there's also another, um, I guess, another way to explain it is ca it's called insulin resistance. So when the cell is resisting the insulin. And so this happens specifically with type 2. Um, and one of the risk factors for developing type 2 is being overweight. Mm -hmm. So when we have a lot more body weight, especially in our midsection, because that's where all our organs are, our heart, our kidneys, everything is in our midsection, the pancreas, the body has to work a lot harder um, to be more efficient. So the cells are resisting that because there's more body fat. So, um, so yeah, so that's the two main types. Now within type two, um, there's also gestational diabetes, which occurs during pregnancy for women. Mm -hmm. um, and that's just detected with a blood test. And then there's also prediabetes. So this is a in-between phase. Oh. So in this phase, um, people actually have the chance to kind of go to the normal state again. So once you're diagnosed with diabetes, you can't really reverse it. So once you have diabetes, you do have it, you can definitely take um, you know, a lot of lifestyle changes to you know, stay off medications, mm -hmm. but eventually, because it's a progressive disease, um, it would lead to type two. You will always stay that way. So when, you're pre when you have pre-diabetes, you actually have, you know, you have control over that situation. Okay, um, can you tell us some of the signs that we should look out for? Is there any symptoms that a, a normal person can be aware of uh, to determine whether they're kind of going into that yeah, phase? Absolutely. So some of the symptoms are can completely go unaware. 
So that's the scary part. Okay. But there are a few. Um, one of them is increased thirst. So if you find yourself really thirsty, oh. all of a sudden you're probably wondering why you're so thirsty. The reason is because your blood is so concentrated with sugar, it needs that needs something to dilute it. Mm. Okay, so you're you're going to be find yourself constantly thirsty. Um, as a result of that, you're going to be using the bathroom more, so increased urination. Um, also, you're just going to be feeling tired and, and weak because your body's not getting that energy it needs into the cells. All the sugar is not going anywhere. Um, you also could have blurry vision. This is actually very common. Um, it's because you know when your when your blood is has a lot of sugar in it, the consistency is like syrup or like honey. So it's not flowing properly. And the blood, you need adequate blood flow for every organ, for anything in your body. So, um, you know, the back of the eye, we have these small nerves um, and the blood is not able to flow properly. So a lot of people do experience blurry vision, okay? Um, so those are some of the common symptoms. And also some, another symptom that people have is um, weight loss, unexplained weight loss. Just because the body's not getting, you know, it's not using their body efficiently, they could just end up with some weight loss. And how about uh, history in the family? Um, yeah. Is that something that could, could lead to, 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 to diabetes? Yes. So with type 1, there isn't any kind of risk factors, right? It's just an autoimmune disease. But with type 2, there are risk factors. So definitely... Um, anyone over the age of 40 is at risk of developing type 2 diabetes. And this is just because the pancreas is getting older mm. and it's, you know, not working as efficiently. So age, definitely. Secondly, I mentioned this before, is being overweight. So carrying a lot more weight than you need, especially in the midsection, that is an increased risk. Right. Thirdly is family history. This is a very strong risk factor. Um, if you have a family history of diabetes, you need to be really careful, um, especially if it comes from the mom's side. Um, there's a higher chance of developing diabetes, okay? okay. Um, there is also different ethnic groups as well. So South Asian, um, unfortunately, that is a ethnic group that is predisposed to having type 2, right. as well as Asian, African descent, and Aboriginals. Okay, excellent. No, this is, uh, this is some great information. Um, I hope you're enjoying the episode so far. Uh, please click on to the next video or the next episode or the next segment of this episode where we're going to be discussing about our diet and what we eat on a daily basis. So I'll see you then.